so for the band, uh, actually, um, I create another simulation region. Uh, so it's better. So let's select uh, this simulation region and duplicate it. Then I rename it to band. So in the band side, like uh, I select X max as a shell, Y mean and Y max as shell. So the thick, the shell thickness is one. So the reason that uh, I select uh, uh, shell because uh, I want to uh, change the the boundary condition to PML. So the PML, when we want to calculate the real loss, so it's better to change the boundary condition to PML and, and the PML in, in FIM works with boundary of shells. So let's uh, change the geometry also to like uh, two micrometer X to, you know, to, to shift the boundary condition like this. Because because when we when the we bend the waveguide, so part of the bend it um, is in this region. So for this region, I I, I just shift a little bit uh, simulation region. Uh, so next in the in the film side, so I choose a simulation region to bend. And um, the mesh is okay. Modal analysis. In the modal analysis, I select the band, like three micrometer. And um, for band location, I select zero, zero, zero. And then I put apply, okay. And uh, I set the for the for the boundary condition as a PML. So if you look at the PML, you see that the PML setting automatically applied to all simulation region shells. For this reason, so it means that part of our simulation, uh, so this this uh, tree region, so is is uh, surrounded by by PML boundary condition. So now we we define the band waveguide on the simulation region, and uh, now let's do the simulation. Okay, simulation is finished. So let's look at the fields. So if I look at the fields, new visualizer. Oh, you can see that the band like EX and also magnitude. So we can see that the part of the of the mode is shifted toward the like uh, band side. And we can we can change the the dimension as a log scale. So you can see most of the light like uh, shifted to the right side. And uh, so We can also look at the mode parameters to check the loss. Like, let me remove this one. So this is effective index, real part. This is the imaginary part of effective index. And also this is a loss value. So real part. So we can see that the loss value is around 0 0.025 dB per meter. So if we want to like uh, study the effect of uh, like bending radius to the loss, uh, we can add some sweep so I can create new sweep like 
Good band trip. Band trip. So then I select band trip and then select edit. In the edit, I select add. So I want to change the object site. Not on the object site. Yes, in the properties. Uh, band radius, yes, yeah. So band radius, the type is length. Like for instance, from three to seven micrometer, like three to like 10 micrometer for the number of 0.7. So then what we want to measure, so we want to select theme results, so mode properties. Then I select okay, then I select run. So, um, so I speed up the simulation. Uh, now we can select the band sweep and then right click on new results and then visualize and new, new visualize and uh, so If I removed, so this is, uh, so let's change the parameter to micron. So this is three, the radius of three micron, four micron, five micron. So in the three micron, the effective index is like 2.39 in four micron is like uh, 2.3 and so we can look at the, the imaginary part of the effective index. So like we can change it to the largest scale. So as you see here, when we increase the 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 radius of uh, of band so the imaginary part of the group index is decreased so it means that the loss is decreased and um, here the the imaginary part is around uh, like minus nine nine db so you see that the, the loss value or the imagining part of the effective index has decreased a lot in this in the in the large band radius. I will show how the dependency of uh, of uh, imaginary part of the effective index to the to the loss value. If I change the an effective to the loss, and then if I select real part of loss, you can see that the, also the loss value is uh, changes after the, the radius of, of band increased. So uh, let's close this window. And also I, I have a script file that in this script file, um, we can we can read the data. So let's I copy the name. So in the script in this script. So if you want to read the data from a script file, it's very easy. Just we can put our script name here, Ben Sweep, and then the parameters of which parameters of Ben Sweep we want to look at look at look it out. 
So like in the band sweep, so we want to uh, get the results of mode properties. So in the mode properties we have, we can access to an effective index so as you see here. So in the, in the mode properties, like uh, we have access to effective index, K loss and, and T polarization, effective area, all of these parameters like, so the mode property dot N effective, the mode, if I want to like the KZ parameter, so we can say mode properties dot KZ and or loss mode properties dot loss. So I like, I extract the effective index to effective index theme and loss to loss one and also just I, I want to save the real part of an effective as a n n a real and also uh, log a scale of log uh, of uh, imaginary part of effective index in log 10 uh, n imaginary theme so we have three value we have loss real part of effective index and imaginary part of effective index as a log scale and also the uh, so the get sweep data and uh, for the like I want to uh, extract the data of uh, the value of radius of bands. For this reason, I select band sweep and band radius to R. Now I want to plot the R and uh, imaginary part of effective index and also R versus loss. Let's do the simulation. So we see an error. So the reason that we see this error, because if we look at the uh, band details, so if I select edit, so actually the parameters, it's, uh, uh, so the parameters is new parameters and the results is new results. Just, I, I must change, I must rename it before, but because I write, I wrote this script before. So for this reason, I just, I changed the mod parameters, mod properties to, to new results and and this one to new parameter parameter. Yes. I think now it's okay. Yes. So we have to plot. So this is the imaginary part of of uh, of loss of effective index. Like, so it's a log scale, and this is a, a value of, of loss. So we can also change it to the log scale. Okay, so, but what what is the uh, relation between the uh, imaginary part of effective index and the value of loss. So we can look at this slide. So in this slide, as you see, so if we consider effective in the electric field, which is propagated in a positive Z direction in a medium with a complex refractive index of N plus I kappa, so we can write the EZ as this formula, uh, where, where K is two pi N plus I kappa divided to lambda naught. So the propagation loss is uh, in film is dB per meter. So, and is defined as this loss equal minus 10 log scale power of z to one meter to z, divided to power of z to z at the initial step. 
So after combining the formula, we have this. So, so we can relate the loss to the imaginary part of the effective index by this formula. So now we can see that uh, this is a loss value and this is imaginary part of effective index. Thank you.